when um, people come and they um, visit our system, they wonder, well, we're not an Alaska Native or American Indian uh, population that we're serving, or that is not the indig we're not serving an indigenous population that receives funds. So, how could we use the title of customer ownership? And my feedback to them is, everybody should be a customer owner of their health care. Um, you should be a customer owner of your health care. You get the delivery from the health care system that makes you a customer. And the ownership part should be, you should have a say in what happens in the health care system that you're getting services from. So how could you do that? Or how could a health care system encourage that? Um, they could set up advisory committees and put you on it as a customer owner. Um, they could create and put people on bodies of governance that are truly people receiving services. And they could also involve people that are b getting the service in planning activities and survey and ask, what do they think about their healthcare system? Are they in agreement with what is taking place now? If they could change the system, what would they change? If that happened, then, um, and they were listened to, people get a feeling and sense that they are customer owners of a healthcare system. If, they, if we feel like we're being heard from a body that's serving us in a healthcare system, and things are changed because of what we say, then there comes a little tiny piece and a feeling of ownership in a healthcare system, and that's a good thing. <laughs>